So there's been some press uh, about glyphosate and seeing dead fields sterile with nothing growing on them. Well, I just want to put this field to you guys. Um, it's a field of spring barley. Uh, before the spring barley, we had a cover crop in here of radishes, of clovers and of oats. That cover crop was grazed by our sheep uh, before we sprayed it with glyphosate to kill off a few weeds and the remaining cover crop before planting spring barley into here on the 8th of March. Uh, and to date, this field has had no other chemical applications. Uh, we put a little bit of fertilizer and some phosphorus fertilizer, no nitrogen, no pre-emergence herbicides, and we're just about to go through with a trace element, which is like a, a multivitamin shot for this particular crop. Uh, this is all dependent on glyphosate, because without glyphosate, we would have had to have cultivated this field, uh, which breaks up the soil, disturbs the biological activity of earthworms, of fungi and bacteria in the soil, which can help turn the nutrition around from the dead and decaying cover crops and make those nutrients available for the crop that we're growing now. That cover crop protects this soil and stops erosion over the winter when we are having uh, prolonged periods of rainfall. Uh, it also builds organic matter, capturing carbon from the soil, which is uh, from the air, which is then locked away uh, into the soil, um, helping to reduce our carbon footprint on the farm. And it also helps with our water infiltration in terms of providing uh, a store and a reservoir for water that then doesn't run off these fields uh, down into the local watercourses, taking any soil and phosphate fertilizers and things like that with it. So this isn't possible without glyphosate. Without glyphosate, we are gonna have some huge challenges trying to produce food to feed ourselves and other people. And just to give you an idea of the life that is in the soil here, you can see active growing roots. You can see a crumbly structure of biological activity in that rooting zone. And some very, very healthy looking plants actively engaged in the soil biological food web to extract nutrients to grow healthy, nutritious food.